I'm Terry Lynn Pellegri, and I'm a freelance photographer, and I live in Saratoga Springs, New York. I started composting about five years ago. At that point, I just couldn't bear to put one more thing into the landfill that didn't have to be there. My process of composting is really very simple. Uh, the food waste that I generate in my kitchen, it's mostly from vegetables, uh, fruits, eggshells, tea, coffee. That gets collected in a little container that's by my kitchen sink. And when that container fills, just bring it outside into my little backyard composter. And there it's allowed to decompose on its own. I was at the, the kitchen sink and my little compost container is right there by the window. And it was just the way the light came in and something caught my attention. And it was this moment. And I had my camera, actually at the time it was my cell phone, <laughs> right there. And I photographed and it just, it was beautiful. And I just continued to photograph my compost in that fashion just day after day after day after day and it was I was months and months and months into it before I realized what I was doing and I felt compelled to continue to photograph because I felt like I was documenting something that was important to me this collection of photographs I call love compost and the subject matter is what most people would consider garbage. Uh, of food, mostly food waste, but not exclusively, from my kitchen that eventually makes its way to my backyard composter. And the, the subject matter is seen through a shifted lens, different perspective, uh, what most people would consider useless, rotten, decaying, ugly. One of the things about this project that I really like is the fact that sometimes you're not sure what you're looking at with the images. I think that we tend to, if we know what we're looking at, we've already decided what it's going to be. So if somebody told you that you were gonna see photographs of compost. What are you gonna think? You're gonna think these photos are gonna be ugly and I'm not gonna like them. In your mind, you already have decided what they're gonna look like and they're not gonna be good. So just the idea of shifting that or having someone be surprised about what they see is a shift of perspective. And maybe that would carry over in other parts of their life too. We do it every day. We think of something, we decide whether it's good or bad before we even experience it. A great compost photo for me is one that makes me smile. One that surprises me. One of the, I mean, I've literally laughed out loud with these, with the images. With the compost images, there is an energy that carries through all the way to the end. Every image has a story, and that story is a time that you shared with people that you care about, people that you love. The energy that uh, that once living matter had, that those vegetables, that broccoli, you're allowing it to complete its life cycle and honoring all the parts along the way. You're honoring the growing, the transporting, that meal that you shared with the people that you cared about, all that you're allowing that energy to live on. Each of these images are so different. Uh, I, it surprises me that they wind up being so different. Um, the one image that I call trippy, it's 
it's chunked up watermelon cube rinds and in a clear bowl. And underneath that is um, the, our floor mat. Finding a subject matter to photograph that is beautiful, visually beautiful, and meaningful isn't always easy. I'm amazingly surprised that this all came together this way for me. It's, um, it's a huge gift. Somebody views these images. If someone walks away and says, hmm, I never thought of it that way, I would have achieved something.